Welcome back everyone to Let's Play Superstar Saga. I'm your host Turtle Epic, and let's go after those other two fruits, shall we? So as we can see on our map, nothing. So let's just go there. This room has a ton of enemies to clear out once again, and of course, I'll skip all of that um, unless anything interesting pops up. I have to give myself a refresher right here. I try to conserve my bros points as much as possible, because usually jumping on and hammering on stuff pretty much does the trick. But, uh, like I said before with those fuzz bushes, and the best option is to just bros attack them. Get them out of the way as quick as possible. Here you can smash all the rocks. A few of them have those, uh, bean pads underneath. The others don't really matter. They don't have anything. It's really hard to aim <sighs> with Luigi to make sure you get it right. Excuse me. There we go. Collect all those. Nothing else in this room unless I'm missing a... Uh, hidden chest somewhere, which hopefully I, I'm not because I won't be back here again. <clears throat> so, here's the tricky part that I was thinking about earlier. When two are distant, pressing start but once will do, souls will reunite. Man, how do you know about the start button? You're a video game character. Can't do that stuff. So, what you want to do is send Mario in, but now press start and you can send Luigi to the other side. You can control them each separately. So that's a pretty nifty gimmick, huh? Teamwork! So here you have an impasse. You have to send Mario back and he's going to have to flatten Luigi. Or, well, dig, burrow, Luigi. One of those adjectives verbs, nouns, prepositions, conjunctions. Send him in, he hits the switch, and it sends that gate down, and now you have a timer. I totally screw up the timer this time, but uh, one thing I can talk about is that spring over there the with the arrow that you saw, that'll send you in the direction that it's pointing at, which just sends us back over the uh, wall. So, here's what you want to do want to send Luigi come on what are you doing get out of the ground it's not going to work anyways uh, what you want to do is you want to hit the button start the timer quickly send Luigi back over the uh, barrier, have him run around, quickly switch, slam Mario, flatten him, have him run all the way back to the back, and get the white chuckle of fruit before time runs out. And that's all there is to it. You hit that switch, and I'll know what happens, actually. Hmm. Oh well. So now there's only one area to go back to. Oh, quit being stupid. Sorry if you heard that. Those were my dogs uh, jumping around, being a nuisance. They do that. No, not up there, you moron. Get back. Okay. What we want to do is go back, and the only place we have left to go is that underpassage right there that's grayed out. Remember I was talking about that before, how it was a dead end? Well, it's a dead end from one path, but we're going to the other path. And that is where our last fruit resides. Okay. Let's make our way back there. Um, if you cleared out all the enemies before, like I have been, like I suggested, then they won't bother you, but you will have to worry about these guys. Don't 
don't know why I'm showing off this battle, I guess just to have it not be uh, completely walking around everywhere. But, like I said, uh, these guys are a pain. They will trip you up if you let them. Don't even worry about bros attacking them, just uh, keep jumping on them. Have you been able to notice the difference between their attacks yet? Well, if you have, then congratulations, because I've played this game for years, and I don't even think I recognize the difference. Something else about the Chuck guys, on the field, they can throw their spear at you, and if the spear connects with you, then you enter into a battle. So that's basically their preemptive against you, although it doesn't give them, like, additional bonus or anything. That's just how they make contact. You know, like E.T., except you die. So, I want to go up here. Uh, make a passage up here, though, and you can collect this uh, coin right here. Go back and up, and we're going to cross over with this bike pad. Remember the bike pad, don't you? We love bike pad. Bike pads are great. But not when it takes forever like this one does. That block down there, it contains a mushroom. And I do go back and get it later. Hopefully I don't do it in this video, because that'd be really dumb. But we got the purple chocola fruit, and with that, we have all three in our collection. First we want to drop down and get these chests right here. and make our way back over. Now when you go down this side, you can't high jump back up. So that's why it's a dead end. But it brings us back forward into uh, this area. There's a demonstrate here. And that's right, you can't jump back up. Nice try guys, nice try. So go over and around and we'll be back in front of the Chakola tree. I guess that's his name. Oh, don't tell me I go back for that box. Sorry guys, editing mistake. Um, if you want, just, you know, go back and uh, skip this part. Otherwise I'm just going to be, uh, I don't know, singing or reading a text or something. Do 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 Save our game and get ready for another boss fight. Very interesting one at that. You found all three Chocolo fruit types. I am amazed. Oh, that's a pretty cool effect. I know trees can flash neon like that. Holy crap! Great, it's Popple and other guy. Yep, he's dead. Okay, so. Make our way back here into the final stretch of uh, Chocola Woods. Grab a couple goodies along the way. Don't even bother taking the right path. There's nothing on that path as far as I know. Don't need that save block, because we just saved. Go into this weird looking tree, go all the way to the back, and we will find... Uh, 
I think this is a torture room. Oh, it's Bubbles. He is the maker of Chocola Cola. And that's actually what is in that barrel right there in front of us. Chocola Cola. The most legendary of sodas. In fact, they're Chocola Reserve. Oh, and he's giving it to us. All right. A thousand years. How long do beans stay fresh, anyways? Somebody can tell me uh, the oldest bean in existence, and you know, tell me if it's anything close to a thousand years, and you know that'd be great. He already took care of Popple and Rookie for us. So, we won't have a boss fight with them. We're having a boss fight with the soda. And suddenly the old bean guy turns anime. Fantastic. Okay, so, this is the battle with the Chuckolator. Now, as you will see, jumping on his head does not do very much damage. Now, he has uh, two stances. First stance is that he will have a shield on the left and sword on the right, and the other stance is that he'll have a gun on the left and shield on the right. When he has his sword out, um, his attack is he'll launch those little blobs at you, which you can knock out of the way with your hammer. He will block his own, uh, he'll block himself with his shield. All you want to do is keep bashing on the shield with your hammer. It'll uh, take a while, but that's what you want to do. That's how you progress. I stupidly keep jumping on him, even though... I knew better in my heart that the right way is to bash into the shield. I know it's kind of counterintuitive, but... Sometimes you have to do things differently in order to succeed. And that breaks off the shield. Now he's in full offense mode. His gun will shoot out those blobs which you have to uh, jump over. However, uh... Oh, also his uh, walking blobs can knock you down. However, once you take care of the shield, then you can start using your bros attacks against him, and they will do a hefty amount of damage. And you'll finally get to see how uh, Mario's works. Luigi's all you have to do is knock Mario forward and uh, hit him at the moment that you have impact. With Mario's, you launch him into the air, and you rapidly press A, and you'll do that multi-hit helicopter attack. Pretty darn useful. So, yeah guys, we're fighting Soda. <laughs> Can't get any crazier than this, right? Right? Even when you fail with Mario's attack, you can still be, uh... You can still do a pretty good amount of damage. Oh, come on, aren't you dead yet? Have you been noticing that Luigi takes less damage? Because of his higher defense? Yeah, that's math for you. I think this is the last hit. Connect, and... Oh yeah, this is the last phase. Um, Bubbles will come over and tell uh, the Chuckolator a joke, which will restore some of his HP. However, with uh, the level ups that we have and our rate of fire, you know, with all of our attacks, it's no issue. One more attack? Okay, two more attacks. Bam. And he's down. Booyah. And we got a 1-up Mushroom and level ups out of the deal. So, a successful boss fight. Uh, round of applause for everyone. 
Okay. Uh, just so you know, with Mario, I just go down the list with the roulette from HP to stash. And with Luigi, I go up the list from stash to HP. And we have set bubbles. So much so that he uh, cracks open the ground with his fury and we fall in. <clears throat> and we also get separated. Mario lands in the soda and Luigi lands up above. And as Luigi, we have to make our way back to Mario. So, this will prove to be interesting. And we'll see how it turns out next time. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you soon. Adios!